Welcome to the Services Marketing Assessment 1 Resubmission Explainer. So, for some people, the first assignment was not the happiest of results, and several participants were given the opportunity and the invitation to resubmit the assignment because they were either off task, missed the opportunity, or some other reason, something went wrong. With that in mind, the opportunity is open to any member of the subject to resubmit their assignment. And I want to explain how the resubmission is going to work. So the first piece of housekeeping is it's the second chance mode, assignment resubmission. That's the turn it in, part of the turn it in. It will be at the end of week seven. You'll see the due dates, they will stand. You will see the terms and conditions. They will also stand. I don't have to offer resubmission chances. I want to offer a resubmission chance. I see this as a big opportunity to both live to the principles of services marketing and to give some of you a chance to take a semester that's a little bit off track, swing it around and bring it home as a really strong finish. Now, the choice is going to be up to you. This is a completely voluntary event. You will be trading off time for a potential improvement in points. For this resubmission, the couple of rules that are very important to understand. The first one is that the task is a zero sum in the sense of you will get either the same grade or a better grade for your resubmission. Now anyone who's currently feeling that that's unfair, please understand that the people who are resubmitting are spending more time back on this assessment task and that time is coming away from anything else they could be doing, particularly the second assessment task. I know what I'm doing here. I'm making a trade-off for you. I'm off making you an offer. It's not a trick, it's not a trap. If it was a trap, I'd tell you because I like telling people about traps because then they walk straight into them. The second thing you need to understand about this is that we are going to do a couple of requirements. These are what we would politely describe as hard requirements. If you don't meet the requirement, you don't get a regrade. This is an optional voluntary thing on your side and it's an optional thing on my side. To make my life easier, I am going to use a template document. If you do not adhere to the template document and you don't get it right, you are automatically eliminated from the regrade and your previous assessment grade stands. Like I said, I don't have to do this, I'm choosing to do this, and to make it the most efficient and effective way that I can, we're going to do it with a couple of uh, things that make it efficient. So, in the page, in the document, the second chance resubmission, this is available on the Wattle site, it's linked at the turn it, point of turn it in submission and resubmission. If you cannot find this document, then you're not going to get to do the resubmission. You are going to be asked to do a number of things. You need to get these things right. First of all, you'll need to put in what the grade you received originally was. Be smart about this and truthful. Second thing that you will need to do is you're going to have to indicate what area that you have made changes. Now if you resubmit with no changes made, then I'm not going to give you a different mark. If you don't indicate which areas that you've changed, you're not getting a different mark. So you've got to work with me here select which areas that you have gone and made changes to, which areas that you have left the same, 
and then I'm going to ask for a reply to reviewers comments. Now that the fact that you've been asked to resubmit means that I've probably gone and said something about what you need to modify. It's most likely that it was either the target market was way too broad or the value offer didn't make a lot of sense to me. One of the cascades that may occur here is that if you go and refine your value offer to narrow it down, you may find yourself wanting to redo your theory. If that's the case, do so. If you find yourself going and changing your value offer and suddenly going, well, basically it's a whole new assignment, do so. You also, in terms of the target markets, many people who market, who presented me a multitude of markets, rather than giving me a choice of target market A and target market B, presented me with 26 to 30 markets because too many variables were present. You may find that narrowing your target market also means that you should probably go back and reboot your value offer. Do so. Then, having selected which one of the areas you're going to go for, you're going to have to tell me what changes you have made. You're going to tell me what comments I made, what feedback you are acting on, and how you've acted on it. This will make it easier on me to regrade your paper, and making things easier for your client will make life better for you. So this is a reply to reviewers' comments. You will tell me what changes you've made, and then you're going to have made those changes and you're going to resubmit your assignment under the five headings. And it is the resubmission of the whole of the assignment. And even if you only make changes to target market two, you're resubmitting the whole of the assignment. I'm giving you the chance to redo the whole thing from ground up or work with what you've already got. Now, if you find that as a result of making some changes or as a result of trying to fit your assignment into the template, you have stuff that doesn't fit the template, those words are not scoring you points. So put them somewhere else and make use of what can score you points. So objective A, let me know what the changes are. Objective B, let me know what the changes are. Objective C is give me the changed assignment. If you don't meet these three objectives, I can just simply go, no, nope, no grade increase and dismiss it. If you meet these three, then I'll go remark it and see what and how the assignment has improved. So this is the aim of the game, is to give you a chance to produce a better second edition, an improvement, a version 2.0, a service recovery moment. If you have any questions on this, please reach out, email, get in touch with me. I will want to hear, if you have questions about the feedback I have provided to you, I am willing to give clarification and additional information. So please, reach out. If there's any questions on either the task requirement or the feedback.